Hey guys, Tim Mubel here with TACCOM. Uh, basically a new product announcement. We have a new two-stage recoil system for your PCC. Now this one is uh, an entry level. Uh, if you're going to be shooting PCC, uh, 9mm, 45, uh, 40, and uh, you've got a uh, standard recoil system in there, uh, we've got a two-stage system now that is going to reduce felt recoil, comes with a flat wire spring, comes with a three-quarter inch cushion, and it comes with a 6.5 ounce stainless steel buffer. So the whole system goes in your tube. This goes in, goes right in your tube like that. Gives you a second stage. Now, a couple things about people go, oh, solid. Uh, how's that going to buffer? Well, little uh, history lesson. Uh, buffer, the buffer for an AR-15, well, comes from... The M16. The M16 is one of the only open bolt machine guns that I know of. And it's all with an open bolt machine gun, uh, you have to have your timing down. Um, and uh, because you have to have the bolt forward before the uh, hammer strikes the firing pin, otherwise, you get a dud. Uh, so it was determined that about 900 rounds a minute uh, is what a M16 is typically fully capable of shooting consistently. So they needed to have a uh, buffering system to make sure that bolt closed. On the AR-15, you don't need a buffer. You just need a weight because you're never going to shoot that gun legally or, you know, you're never going to shoot that gun as fast as 900 rounds a minute. 900 rounds a minute uh, gets you down to 0 .0 second, 0 .07 second splits. In other words, from one round to the next, 0 .07. Uh, grandmasters can go... 0 0.1, 0 0.12. Uh, well, 0 0.12 splits is 500 rounds a minute. So plenty of time for that bolt to close with a solid buffer. No, Tim, you don't know what you're talking about. Well, if the AR-15 needs a buffer with tungsten weights in it, why doesn't the... Uh, Remington 7600 need that. That's got a that's got a uh, that's a semi-automatic weapon, and uh, it doesn't have a buffer. The M1 Grand that's a semi-automatic weapon, and that doesn't have a buffer. That's because it's semi-auto. The bolt will close before you're physically able to pull the trigger again. So uh, you don't necessarily need. A buffer in a nine millimeter for your casual shooting, even for uh, competition shooting. Uh, that being said, <coughs> this is six and a half ounces. Uh, couple that with the TACCOM bolt. Now you have a total mass here of 20 ounces, which is right in the sweet spot. Uh, you can remove the center weight. That'll give you another two ounces down to 18 ounces. More than adequate for the casual shooter. Uh, I like a lighter setup for competition shooting. So um, this system does short stroke your system a little bit, but you're still able to have bolt hold open. And I'm going to demonstrate that. I've got a... Uh, uh, old G-Wax 
upper here and I've got a uh, Han block in it. So this is, this particular unit uses uh, Colt mags. And uh, how do you determine, uh, you know, how long of a system you need to do? So, or need to have. So what's nice about with the Colt setup, right here is very close to the back end of the barrel. I mean, it's within, it's, it's within, you know, 60 thousandths to the back of the barrel. That bolt needs to travel from this point to get bolt hold open. It needs to travel right to here. I do not have my uh, bolt hold open in these. I don't run them because I run competition. But in order to have bolt hold open, you've got your bolt's got to come back to here. So how do you know where your bolt is? Well, real easy. What I do is I put the stuff in. You know, no springs. I'll just put the buffer in and then I put the bolt in and now I look to see where the face of that bolt is in relation to where my bolt hold open is it needs to come back when the bolt if you have bolt hold open this is where your bolt's going to come to at rest if you have bolt hold open so I determine that with this gun I can easily add more distance. This bolt only, I'm gonna have it so this bolt only comes to this far. So how do you know if it's going back that far? Now I throw in my uh, three quarter inch cushion without the spring, put that in. And now I drop the buffer in because that's my stack up. If, if if the gun goes into recoil and everything solids up, this is where my bolt will end up. And if you look at that, even with the Colt, I'm a good uh, three eighths of an inch back from the bolt hold open. So this system of ours will allow you with a carbine buffer tube will allow you to uh, have bolt hold open and if your rifle has a uh, last round bolt hold open feature it'll it'll uh, work with that as well uh, the system is being uh, launched today it's on the website right now uh, there will be in there will be a link down below i hope and uh, but it comes with our three quarter inch cushion this is your second stage then on top of that, it's got a AR-15 carbine flat wire spring. Not gonna wear out on you. That goes in there and then the buffer goes on top. Easy system. This thing is bulletproof. We engineered the travel on this spring. You're not gonna break this spring because we, we are not collapsing this cushion spring to a solid height. That's why we have, that's the limiting, okay? So this isn't gonna break. Thousands and thousands and thousands of rounds to wear out. Same with this. We engineered what kind of distance we can use with this spring. And uh, again, the flat wire spring, thousands and thousands and thousands of rounds. Um, it's a drop-in unit. You will notice immediately from a standard system how much your recoil has decreased your felt recoil and how much your you've lost on your muzzle rise you're going to have a much softer shooting gun that stays on target and that's what you want with a nine millimeter especially if you're in competition uh, and you don't want to spend a lot of this system is going to be 74.95 you're not going to buy a two-stage system that's as bulletproof, reliable as the TACCOM PCC two-stage system. Check it out on our website. We're shipping Monday. Have a great day, everybody. Take care.